So when I'm doing a brief that's this kind of shape rather than like a boy cut or a really high cut, how I like to measure for the elastic is I'll start at the bottom seam here. Like I lay it flat and then I aim for a point that's about equal to the highest point of the hole. So like here, and I just measure my elastic that way, and then I double it over. And I'll have other videos where I show the different types of leg elastic that I do, because it really depends on the, the size of the leg hole and the distribution of the fullness. So I've got those two cut. I like to do my elastic application with the right side facing out like this. And I always start from the front of the crotch on this side. So you can do this with a zigzag stitch on a regular machine. I do my serger because it's a lot quicker. Um, set it up for your longest stitch length and the width doesn't really matter, honestly. So I sew a couple stitches and then basically what I do is for the front, I eyeball it and I just do so that the elastic is a little bit shorter than where I'm sewing it into. So I'll kind of hold it there, stretch them together. Now, when you get to this part, it can be easy to stretch this. Try not to stretch this part. You are going to want to stretch the elastic a little bit over it, pull them all together. And then you're going to side seam. So then hold this so that it overlaps your front by just a centimeter or so. Pull it all together. how I sew the first leg elastic in. And then for the second, I usually start at the hip just because I, I find it easier to do the front first and then leave the remainder to stretch across the back. The back you want a bit more gather because it's what cups under the butt and holds it so it doesn't ride up. And I actually cut this elastic a little bit longer than I normally do. So it's not quite as tight. That's what happens when you eyeball. So here again, just like a little bit shorter than the, the spot is going into. And again, meet up with the front. The, the starting point overlapped by a centimeter or so. You see that you have an even application where it's a bit more gathered in the back, still a little bit gathered in the front. You don't want it to pucker, so you do have a little bit of gather. Once you fold this over, this won't be flipping out like this, um, but that's basically application, elastic application for the leg. So we got to sew the top stitch, the elastic down on the brief. Um, like I've mentioned, I like doing it so the right side's facing up. Just flip it over, put it in your machine, curl your fingers over so you can pull the fabric tight around the elastic. And so, like always with my elastic application, I've got it on my widest zigzag and I've got it on a medium-ish length. Once I get everything pulled tight around the elastic, I stretch everything together. And anytime I have to reposition anything, I stop sewing first. Just trim your threads and then you can see the difference in how the top stitching works to just even this out. You don't have the flipping around and it looks nice and finished. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the second side.
And that is all you need to do for the brief.